It's Virtual CES 2021 at Geekazine.com. Continuing coverage of CES 2021 virtual. I'm here with uh, with Yuren, Yuren uh, and uh, JY, and you guys are from C Lab, correct? Yes, we are from C Lab of um, Samsung Electronics. All the way, uh, all the way name- in Seoul, Korea, which is uh, which is uh, it's pretty early in the morning there, right? Yeah, it's like seven thirty a.m. <laughs> Korea. Well, I have to say, Anyang Haseo to you, and uh, thank you for coming on to the show. So, tell me, tell me a little bit about uh, what C Lab is. Well, um, C Lab is uh, from Samsung Electronics. It is an in-house incubation program. Um, <clears throat> employees get to submit creative, I- creative and innovative ideas uh, about the. Like what is the problem, why it is necessary to solve, and how to solve. And when the pitching gets successful, then we get to work full-time on the idea for one year. And at the end of the project, um, we get to pitch again and get fundings to create a new startup company or get absorbed into Samsung. Okay. So the product, so lots of different products will come through C-Lab, and I know uh, you C Lab's been around for a few years now, and so yeah. we've got four different. There's four different pro- projects in this year's C Lab. One of them is Air Pocket, and that's what you're going to yeah. present, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, go ahead. Well, <clears throat> Air Pocket is a portable oxygen system. Um, the key technology is absorbent to store oxygen with high capacity. Um, the current technology of the portable oxygen system or to store more oxygen, you need a high pressure tanks, which is not easily accessible in everyday life. But Air Pocket uses the absorbance um, and we can achieve uh, almost from 600 to 2100% increased capacity in the same volume and pressure. So, wow. so we can store like light, compact, and safer, efficient oxygen anytime and anywhere. Uh, that's 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 great because that and and that's a pretty small uh, bottle there that 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 you guys are showing, right? Mm-hmm. We have uh, four different sizes of bottles, from six hundred mils like this size, and to thirty mils, but like. Like a little, like a little um, pill. Like yeah, like a coin. Yeah. Like a like a headphone case or something like that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And how much? How much? Uh, how much oxygen does? Did you say that that little one holds? Uh, for little one, it is for um, the connecting with the mask, and you can use for up to two hours. Wow! And then the big, the big one. Uh, how many hours can you use? Big ones you can actually use for 42 days. 42 days? Yes. Wow. So how does that work? Up to 24 days. Okay. Oh, 24 days. Okay. But still, that's a, that's that's mm-hmm. pretty big. So so how does that work? Um, it's uh, with the, the, the key technology is the uh, absorbent. It is the porous materials. Um, the porous materials are generally used for CO2, methane, and hydrogen, those gases gap capture. Mm-hmm. Um, the, however, the compressed, um, yeah, the, for the compressed gas, um, usually the gas molecules experience store a strong um, repulsive force. However, okay. if you use the uh, porous materials, then the, it makes um, gas molecules were favorable to get absorbed. It experienced less um, repulsive force. So, yeah. Okay. Wow. Just like a sponge, uh, sponge absorbing water, the absorbents can absorb the gas molecules. Okay. So it needs something yeah. coming into the unit to expel out, correct? Um, we are actually storing this gas from uh, one bar to uh, up to 10 bars. So 
just by decreasing the pressure and equilibrating with the um, the pressure in the atmospheric pressure, mm-hmm. the gas gets automatically released. Okay. So is there anything, do you have to refill it with anything after the 24 days? Yes, that is correct. Um, the one of the benefit thing with the, our material is that uh, it, it is recyclable. So uh, we have to charge with the, currently we have to charge with the, the huge tank from the huge tank. But um, right now we are also thinking of developing a charging station, uh, which can, um, yeah, the charging station can, is a, uh, uh, eco friendly and it can be recharge uh, repeatedly charged and discharge oxygen by using an uh, electronic. So you can charge any places such as home and office. Okay. And there's a mask to this too, correct? Yes. Okay. And how does the how does the mask fit in? Or is that what uh is that what JY is gonna gonna demonstrate here? Oh, uh, JY is going. She's going to show. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. I, I will show our product. Everything over just a uh, mask. Okay. Mask or everything. Yes. Yeah. 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 I will, yes. I will introduce our product now, but it is just the prototype at the moment. So we have three types of models for portable oxygen uh, product. The first one is life to care model. Uh, it has two ways of use. The one is to spray oxygen with your facing the button. Okay. And the other okay. yes. Okay. And the other way is to turn around the upper part, then keep it keeps missing. Okay. okay. And second one, surely it can adopt for portable oxygen can. Uh, can you see? Yes. Yeah. yes. When I turn around the upper part, then you can see a lot of holes inside. Okay. okay. The oxygen comes out from this hole. I think it is suitable for enclosed space such as uh, in car, study room, and bedroom, and things like that. Okay, so it doesn't. You don't put it on your face. It <laughs> does. It goes the whole room, right? Yeah. It sends yeah. Ox, It sends oxygen through a room or yes, an enclosure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. What's what's and, the mask about then? Yeah. Maybe okay. many people wonder the ocean mask here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can see our ocean mask here and it has small and light ocean tank here. And we can attach this small can on the mask and then take it off. Uh, so yeah. that's it, that's the small unit. Yeah. That uh, yeah. John was was talking about. Okay, okay. Now that makes sense. So yeah. you can get it in a mask form for yourself for two right. hours worth of of use, or the bottle yeah. for the room. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. It is very simple, an easy way to keep your breath with a mask. Okay. Uh, wow. Maybe as you know, uh, uh, it keeps about one or two hours with the mask. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, the one is a uh, charging station here. Okay. Yeah. Is that a charging station for just the small one or for any of the uh, uh, air pockets? Yes, yeah, at the moment. But we are uh, developing the other charging station for uh, the bigger one. Okay. Yes, so. Uh, the concept is that it can automatically charge over oxygen uh, when I attach the pen here. 
Okay. Mm. While the can is charged, uh, while the can is being charged, the light is on. So we can see the charge in state plus. Yeah. So that's that's all the charging. The the blue yes. light saying is charging, and then the light yeah. the the little dots are saying how if it's ready to if it's a hundred percent charged. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it, okay. Now it has a lower battery, so <laughs> it turned off automatically. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Maybe you okay. know. Uh, yes. The blue light means our company is brand color. Maybe you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. It if, is our product. If it doesn't, yeah. if there's any problems with it charging, does it tell you? Is is there a different light that comes up? Like if there's an error with the if there's a problem with the disc. Or the the charge during the charge. Mm. Yeah. 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 So if there's a problem with the charging, then um, the light is gonna switch to red. Okay. <laughs> and so yeah, so it'll, it'll tell you if there's a problem. Do, is there yeah. any connection? Is there any other connection to give you additional information as to? why it w wouldn't be charging does it does it connect to a phone or anything like that um currently <clears throat> currently we're that that is actually a good idea um currently we're thinking about um putting a software and ai mode inside of the charging station so that charging station can be a charging station and also play a dual role as a air purifier so we're gonna put a filter inside so um it's gonna give information about not only like it the battery like i, I mean the oxygen charging but it can also give uh, information about the the air quality inside of the house okay yeah that that would, that would be nice mm -hmm. uh how many how many times can you charge uh these devices is there like a life span for them Uh, we are actually conducting experiment about that. Uh, currently, up, uh, up until now, we repeated about 20 times and it didn't show any decrease in the um, capacity. As long as uh, the, the other type of gas gets inside of the device, that doesn't get inside of the device, then we can, um, we're expecting that we can use it almost, yeah. Now, yeah, definitely. And now I've been, of course, I've been to Seoul and I've, I've mm -hmm. ridden the trains and I've, you know, as, as, as you get on the trains, you see that big case with all the oxygen masks and everything. I'm assuming this is one of the reasons, uh, this is one of the things that could replace those bigger masks, correct? Yes, definitely. Um, currently, there are several oxygen bottles. Um, it's about uh, 600 mils. However, you can only use for um, almost two minutes by using okay. that like large, yeah, large bottle. Yeah. But if you, yes. So if you if you had this well, mask, then of, you could you could go for two hours at least. Uh, or if you had a yes. the big canister, you could do a, a couple days of and survive. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. It, now, by using the mask, we, we're expecting that this mask can be used in, like, during the transportation or playing sports, like after after sports for the oxygen therapy. Mm -hmm. And yes. Okay. Yeah. So you could put it in in a in a spa, in a workout room, uh, or mm -hmm. you know, just in the studio if if you want better oxygen mix. Yes. Okay. Wow, that's that's awesome. So how long how long have you been developing this? Uh, and where do you think that it is going to be till they it finally gets released? Um, we've been de developing for one year. But um, uh, currently, AirPocket is a working proto and 
Um, we are conducting a safety experiment to get a approval from FDA. Mm-hmm. And we expect that um, we expect to release near future either with the new company's name or when it gets spin off or Samsung when it gets absorbed. Okay. So you, you expect that, what, a year from now, two years from now? Um, it depends on the FDA approvals, which, yeah. but we're expecting it could be within one or two years. Okay, perfect, perfect. So um, when when it does get approved, how easy is it to mass produce? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the production of this, um, this type of can is, um, different from the current, um, current, yeah, the system. Mm -hmm. So we have to do all the like systematic work. Um, but. So my, okay, my question is, uh, Mm -hmm. if. When when it gets approved by the FDA, and you mm-hmm. start making it for to sell, how soon before mm-hmm. it, it could have? Is it something where it takes a long time to make, or is it easy to make? So uh, so it could be on shelves within months. Oh, the thing is that um, while developing this project, we considered about the mass production especially best production of the materials that goes inside of the bottle. So um, we are, we actually developed the material that could be used for mass production. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So when after, as soon as uh, we get approval from FDA, we think that um, we can like, just start right away for the okay. production of this. Yeah. Okay. The materials, uh, the materials, are they, uh, are they recyclable or do you have to dispose of them in any special way? Uh, the materials are recyclable. Um, since it has a high surface area, it could be a little more like expensive. So, um, but the good thing is that it is recyclable. So you can just like, charge and discharge many times okay but the, the, uh, yeah the, the best the, the more important thing is there's a battery inside there that uh, that needs to be recycled properly uh it, when when the when the device is end of life oh uh, when the device is end of life then um well it is actually a good question but um it is um Mm. Currently, this material is made of um, uh, natural substances. Substances, so okay. you can dispose just just like disposing like charcoals. Just like charcoals, or you have to remove the battery first, though, right? And dispose of the battery properly. Oh, uh, this bottle right now does not have a battery inside. Oh. It's all used with the hand. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought there was a battery inside. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's all all three units do not have mm-hmm. a battery inside. It's just the gas that does the the, uh, the work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, uh... Well, th- this is interesting because this is where I usually ask how much it's going to cost, when it's going to be available, and what website that people can go to find out more information. But you don't have any of that information, do you? No. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll we'll have people watch geekazine.com, and I'll keep an eye on what's going on with the Air Pocket. If it becomes a Samsung product. Or if it becomes its own product, then I'll let I'll let you know. We'll we'll definitely have you guys on once again uh, when the product does is ready to uh, to produce, and we'll go from there. Does, does that sound good? 
Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, you and thank, thank you, you Jy. Interest. Thank you very much. Well, let me get you both on the screen here. Hold on a second here. I'll do that. So, thank you guys very much, Asiel, and I uh, hope you uh, get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching this video for the CES Virtual by Geekazine. If you're over on geekazine.com or youtube.com forward slash geekazine, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, you guys geek out and take care.